why software developers have trouble landing high paying contracts and high paying jobs. Let's break it down, shall we? So there are a number of reasons why people may not getting high paying jobs down economy, uh, not a lot of jobs in the area, but those are not main reasons. There, those are not main reasons. So the main reasons, the main reasons are really boils down to two main problems, two main areas that software developers need to improve. Point number one is your executive presence, for lack of a better word. Here's the thing. I network and I look for software developers on them internet streets, especially on LinkedIn streets daily. And software developers in the United States are the top secret, meaning I cannot find y'all. And it's not because you're not there. You obviously are there, but you're not showing up. You're not showing off you like it's hard to it's hard to discover you right so and that's the problem because it boils down to problem number two on the main like the main group of problems number two you don't have a reliable system that you can reuse as you need when you need to land jobs faster and to land better paying jobs. So let's break it down. What is like, what the hell is executive system? Okay. Or executive presence, executive, like, executive presence with executive system. So what is executive presence? Executive presence is when you show up, basically you show up and you talk about your expertise in an intelligent way. It can be entertaining. It can be more serious. It can be funny. It can be not funny. The moral of the story, you provide value by sharing your expertise. You show up and show out. Or you point out if you, some people might think like, but I have nothing to say. Like I know a lot, but I have nothing to say. But do you read articles? Do you do your research? Do you like do? Um, do you go to conferences? Do or do you like do any kind of like any kind of research? Because here's the thing: like here's the thing about software development. If you're not improving, if you're not learning, at some point, your skill set is going to be obsolete. So you need to keep learning. You need to keep improving your skills, no, no matter what. So, and as you improve your skills, so here's your content. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Everything is content. You saw an article. It is a content. You uh, went to a conference. It is a content. You um, tried something out and it worked. It is a content. You are working with a mentor and you learned something from your mentor. It is a content. And when, when you start sharing your journey, when you start documenting your journey publicly, then here we go. You build your executive presence by sharing your expertise, by sharing your experiences. So that's like, that's number one. Number two, reliable system. So. What do you do if you lose a job or if you need another job? So many people do different things. Um, there are people who just start applying for a bunch of jobs. There are people who just start hitting recruiters up. There are people that do other things. So there are many different, like there are many different ways to get around it, right? Um, but majority of software developers, majority of software developers, when shit hits the fan, excuse my fringe, and they don't really have reliable system in place, right? 
And、um, here, I want to take you on a journey with me. I started as a QA engineer, and、uh, I transitioned、uh, into iOS development. And then、um, I found myself stuck in a mid level role. Of course, for not for a long time, but like I like I felt stuck and I and I figured that I needed to do something. So, and I did something and I did something. My reliable system, right, is、um, uh, based on your executive presence, based on your executive presence, you network, you leverage your network. Here's another thing. Uh, you may be online. You may be there. You may be showing up. You may be posting videos or having a vlog, but nobody knows about it because you have no audience. Well, not the right audience. So you're not expanding your network daily. So, and when you have the system, when you have the system that you can really use, that、uh, like let's say when I got into QA. Uh, my my first QA job, my second QA job, I start noticing certain patterns. I start no- noticing certain patterns, and I said, "Okay, this is how I got my first job. Let me see if I do the same thing. I will like get another job." I face a bottleneck in terms of the pay. I couldn't like I couldn't sur- surpass certain like certain thresholds, certain financial thresholds. So I start. I started think,、uh, to think like, what should I do differently? So, and then I discovered again, going back to the executive presence, that I need to show up. I need to actively show up on social media, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on. Well, I want to say on Twitter, but like Link,、uh, LinkedIn is my main platform.、Uh, I leverage、uh, YouTube on LinkedIn.、Um, Back in the days, right? Like back in the days,、uh, LinkedIn was not as good at videos, so I would just share my videos, right? Like from YouTube, because like in my mind, I, I thought like, okay, YouTube videos, LinkedIn written posts, and sharing links to my videos, and this is how I gain a lot of subscribers on my YouTube channel by sharing my videos on LinkedIn. So, but now LinkedIn is my robust platform, and you can share videos, you can share photos, you can share short videos, you can do live streams, like all of the things. And by the way, I do regular live streams on、uh, YouTube and on、uh, LinkedIn as well. So, like, make sure to check that out. So. Uh, when I start having that, and when I start showing up reliably, and when I start like connecting with the right people, I also start making friends, friends, professional friends with recruiters.、Uh, not like and it was, and it's not transactional. I'm still making friends with recruiters. It is not transactional. I'm not like, hey recruiter, give me a job. Like I'm. Senior iOS developer, do you have any jobs for me? Or like, hey, I'm a career coach in tech, so let's 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 network, let's be friends, like promote my services to your applicants who can't get a job for one reason or the other. Or like, people who you reject with your rejection email, send them a link to my services, like just in case, okay, like. It is nothing. It is nothing like that. But like, but by the way, like, if you, if you could do that, I would highly appreciate it. Okay, but hey, like, in all seriousness, like, I would make friends with recruiters, like, genuinely, and I would pick up the phone. I would talk to them all day, every day, because I don't know. I'm a, I'm a closeted recruiter because I was, I'm part of hiring teams and I'm part of hiring. Um, groups or interviewing groups for engineers, right? And I would kind of help recruiters to find、uh, candidates, right? Where I would give them referrals because, like, hey, you don't need to work that hard. Here's a candidate. Screen them, see if they're a good fit. Do your thing, and let's interview that candidate. Worked ninety nine point nine percent of the time. There's one little like meaning like 
teeny tiny slither sliver where it didn't work either because of the pay or because like something it line up with a high rate manager right so make friends with recruiters recruiters are cool and a lot of developers have that negative attitude towards recruiters that they're all about money they're all about low lowering you but like here's the thing like you got into tech right and i'm sure that he, majority of us got into tech for the money right we like making a lot of money we like providing for our families we like that financial freedom we like supporting our families we like supporting our loved ones right so do recruiters but when it comes to your application when it comes to working with you like the job of the recruiter is not getting you a job is not getting you a job and it's connecting the right candidate with the right opportunity and they're working for the client first not for the candidate it doesn't mean that they don't respect candidates so if they don't have uh, candidates interest in mind they do good recruiters do and they care that it's a good match for you because if it's not a good match for you at the end of the day they're gonna double their work anyway because you're gonna leave they're gonna have another rack on their hand and they're gonna and it's gonna go all over again so but making right connections making right network connecting with the right people can ex expanding your network daily this is essential and many people many people are missing that many people are missing that so um your executive presence and you have to have the system in place and this is what i'm focusing on y'all this is something that i'm focusing in my program to deliver you system that you can rinse and repeat to lend you new jobs better jobs if you want to change specialty you don't have to hire me again you don't have to enroll into my program again to become like a backend developer an ios developer a web developer whatever like backend developer if you want to change specialties you can just reuse the same thing over and over over and over again and again again and again again and again so this is what i'm offering and the link for my mini coaching session is in the comments so and uh, also in the either in the, in the comments or in the description box below so schedule an appointment with me because you need executive presence and you need the system and i will see you in the next video bye y'all